know, you already save a lot of money every year thanks to our videos. So save on car parts too. Buy them on the Mr. Auto app. Shipping is free. You will find the bulk pad used in the video exclusively on the Mr. Auto website and through the link in the description. Turn your engine off. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the brake fluid reservoir. In order to change the rear brake pads on your vehicle, you must first lift the rear of your vehicle and remove the wheels to gain full access. Raise the front of the vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. Before starting, loosen the handbrake, otherwise you will not be able to complete the operation. Loosen the brake caliper. To do this, use a 13mm socket wrench as well as a 15mm spanner and remove the caliper mounting bolts. Using the large flathead screwdriver, release the brake caliper from its support and remove the pads. Change the noise dampening shims if you have decided to replace them. Using a wire brush, clean the edges of the brake caliper mount where the brake pads go. Put the piston back. For this movement, you must have a brake caliper wind back tool. This is a specific tool that will make it possible to wind the piston back, but also to have it turn on itself to set the self-adjusting system on your handbrake. Hello, if this video helped you, like and subscribe. Take the new brake pads. Coat the outside of the new pads with copper grease. And slide them into the brake caliper mount. Position the brake springs parallel to the brakes themselves. Put the brake caliper back in place and screw in the caliper mounting bolts. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. Put the wheels of your vehicle back on and lower it to the ground. Before starting your car, don't forget to screw the brake fluid stopper back in. Be careful, before using your vehicle again, start your car and pump the brake pedal a few times to bring the brake pads together again. Try to drive smoothly and avoid sudden braking for the first 50 kilometers or so to avoid glazing the new pads. Operation completed. Please support us, subscribe and like the video, that will be really cool.